Police, fire, or EMS. In a Travis County courtroom, really the call that led Austin police to a grim discovery played out. This was August 18th, 2020. The caller said her friend, Christy Cardenas, took her into the backyard of a South Austin home where she had been staying with her boyfriend, Walter Cox, and showed her where her ex-boyfriend, Nicholas Kinslow, was buried. You can see, like, there's a shed, and you can see where there's cement and, like, tender blocks. The caller said Kinslow was abusing Cardenas. At one point, he even shot at her car, and that she had just paid to get him out of jail. This man has beaten her and then almost killed her several times. Austin police called the woman back to get more information. So that was an actual thing. He shot her car up in San Antonio? Yeah. Before heading to the house. Do you mind if I step inside real quick? Thank you, man. What happened next is subject of Wednesday's hearing. Attorneys filed a motion to suppress evidence. We filed this motion to suppress the evidence found therein because that search took place um, without a search warrant and none of the exceptions apply. Police entered the house with Cotts' permission, saying they needed to make sure there was no one else inside. Eventually, they moved to the backyard where they found Kinslow's body. The state would just be making the argument uh, based on the evidence that the court will hear today is that um, there was consent from Mr. Cotts to go into the house um, and there was an expectation that they were going to be looking for a potential uh, gravesite or a potential fugitive that could be in the house.